2022 for crypto has absolutely been a horrific year. Would you agree? Drop in the comments below. And I want to talk about this. Uh, thank you, by the way, for supporting myself, my channel, my videos. I greatly appreciate you. And um, I just, you know, haven't done a video like this in a while. And I wanted to kind of address some things that have gone on in crypto this year. And I'll cut to coin market cap in a minute. We'll talk about some charts and things of that nature. But here's what it is. We've, we've been decimated this year. Crypto going from north of two and a half plus trillion with, you know, dollar market cap to now 800 billion decimated. We've had just kind of, we've, we've, we've never been able to really recover in the year 2022 from any of these outside macro factors, Russia, Ukraine, war, China, COVID fallout uh, associated with economic impact, supply chain issues on a global scale, um, uh, inflation rampant, uh, and obviously the United States hitting an all-time 40-year high as far as uh, you know inflation and the fear, uncertainty, and doubt that has come out of that inflation related to you know just being in stocks or crypto or whatever uh, inflation obviously impacting us all from the cost of just going to the grocery store going to the gas station and the fear around that and by the way less discretionary income because everything costs more money uh, people pulling their money just to survive out of crypto and stocks and um, and then you fast forward, you know, with the continuing ongoing scenario with with Russia, Ukraine, is there going to be any some type of a nuclear event or whatever it may be? Oh, by the way, you know, fallout throughout the year of Celsius, Voyager, <laughs> you know, three eras capital. Uh, and then finally to where we're at now with the FTX collapse and the contagion. And oh, and then the other thing, the Federal Reserve and their monthly meetings and the monthly CPI reports where every single month we would get a, a bad report and it would knock crypto down. And then three weeks later, we'd have the, you know, we'd have the actual meeting uh, of the Fed to raise the rates. OK, so that's been obviously what's happened you know, a, a very quick snapshot, if you will, of what's transpired in 2022 to make it a horrible year for crypto. But there is a silver lining here and I'm not minimizing all of our all of our, uh, you know, crypto trading accounts have been mostly in the red and bleeding all year. But I think that we are at the lows. I think that we, you know, we might have some more downside with Bitcoin to maybe 14,000. Theory and maybe going down to seven, eight hundred dollars, but those are pretty much kind of everybody in the room readily agrees that those are the lows. Um, therein lies the silver lining. Therein lies the opportunity. And if you're looking forward, you know, and if you're, and here's by the, you know, here's the, you know, eight hundred twenty-three billion, right, from two point five trillion. If you're looking for the silver lining here and that fact that this has been a horrible year, it comes down to this. It comes down to low costs. If you have dry powder, i.e. cash, to be able to buy in and have this mentality of like, I'm going to buy Bitcoin when it hits 14,000, 13,000, whatever your number is, or Ethereum, I'm going to buy when it hits, you know, below a thousand or Cardano or, or Polygon or whatever, you know, whatever these blue chips and whatever these ones that you're looking at. And you have a buy and hold mentality of low cost, buy low, wait it out, sell high. It's a silver lining. It's a, it, this is, this is. This is when you buy. This is when you go in. This is when you put money in. Um, this is when the smart money does come enter into the market. You know, I think a lot of people actually do it the exact opposite direction. They sell on the green candles. I'm sorry, excuse me. They buy on the green candles and they uh, sell on the red, right? Because of emotional investing. And that's one thing I could I could tell you if, from an advice standpoint, not investing is that if you, from an advice standpoint, if you can figure out how to take emotions out of the equation, from a crypto trading and or stock trading scenario, you will absolutely be above the above, you know, the crowd and in, in front of the crowd. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to have a plan. If you buy Bitcoin today at say, you know, sixteen thousand, have a plan. Okay, when when Bitcoin hits eighteen thousand, I'm going to take a certain percentage away for profits, and or I when I you know I want to make thirty percent or forty percent on this Bitcoin investment or insert any coin or token name here. That's a simple plan, but that's enough to take a lot of the emotional baggage that goes along with it out of it because we all know very simply is that crypto is volatile and it will move and it will ebb and flow. It's been a horrific year, but there is a silver lining. Looking forward into 2023, I think that it's going to be better, just a matter of when. That's all I have for you. Thank you. I'll see you.